Hey guys, Mystic Arctic Wolf here. Well, not so much for the Arctic part. So, this is actually going to be take two for my solar panel uh, setup. Because the first one really didn't turn out so good. So, might as well do another one where it's more... Try to make it more simple and show you guys what I do. So, oh yes. Now, all, all these parts that I, I'm using, they're not sponsored. No one sent, sent these out to me for free and want me to do a, a review on, on any of this kind of stuff. This stuff is all out of my money, okay? So I could give out my honest opinion for everything. So, thanks for watching. I hope you find this useful. Remember, this is only a small scale for what I'm going to do probably within the next year. Hopefully this year. I don't know, this year is kind of, kind of awkward. Got a lot going on this year. So, and it's like six months through. So this, this upload will probably be the first of the six months. January? No. No, this is June. First. Today is June 1st. So hopefully I could get this set up, like put up um, on YouTube within the next day or so. Because I know some of you guys want to know what I've been doing. And this is kind of what I've been doing for a while now. Like ever since I was a lot younger. But not with the stuff I have now. This stuff I have now is a lot further than what it used to be, honestly. So, why not? Let's just get into it and um, show you. So, I'm going to flip my camera around. So, you can see here that this is my solar panel that I had just recently ordered on Amazon. And... It was like thirty dollars for twenty watts, and not not bad. It's actually pretty good. So, um, but although uh, later on, like um, these parts right here that you see on the solar panel, uh, when you get a good expensive solar panel, uh, FYI, you do not want to see this. You just want to see a nice panel without these um, these. Like um, defects, whatever it is, you don't want to see these on a new solar panel. This one, like I said, was thirty dollars, fairly cheap for what I'm doing. Remember, this is only small scale for what I'm planning on doing within this year. So, solar panel. Um, I know I do everything outside. Hey, I'm an outdoors guy. So, what I have going on here is my Goal Zero Sherpa 50 with my little power inverter. Okay, how good does it work? Well, yes and no. Obviously. So, I got my, because you can, now the reason I had to go with the uh, 20 watt for the solar panel, um, Actually, let's see. So, input. Okay, good me. So, you could go down to minimum is 14 volts, maximum is 25 volts. That's what it says. Up to 2 amps at 30 watts max. So, you don't want to exceed 30 watts on your input. So, that's why I got a 20 because I could not find. An actual 30 watt solar panel, which uh, sucks. So, anyway, and as you can see here, I had actually kind of put my own plug on it. And the only way I did this was, well, obviously with a soldering gun, a hot tip, and kind of melted a hole in the plastic, screwed in my jack, and, um, wired it up in here which um 
Well, it's kind of directly wired into this plug right here, so it should, it seems to work. So uh, hopefully I don't uh, see what I'm doing. Hopefully, okay. So right now it's fully charged, as you could tell. I just charged it last night from the wall adapter. Now, what I'll be doing is kind of adding a load. Oh yeah, you see you have your laptop plug, 12 volt output, you got your input, uh, USB, a uh, little power inverter, and that's it. Uh, however, I was not going to spend an extra $25 just for a plug that fits in here to hook up to my solar panel. I was not going to spend an extra $25. Who in their right mind will do that? That's kind of a ripoff. Especially if you're going to cut the, like, plug it in here, um, put the other plug on straight into the solar panel. That, that's kind of a ripoff for an extra $25. Because this long cord you're looking at right here actually came with the solar panel by itself, which is pretty good. Uh, it did have two battery um, cl clamps right here. Um, took those off, put my jack on. <laughs> yeah, it's easy enough. So, yeah, got everything in my car. Uh, number one will be my 12 volt fan. And yes, Goal Zero did give me um, the little, so what it is. Well, actually, it comes with the um, unit. Actually, it's just a little plug that plugs in. Let's see if I could do this with one hand. Plugs in there. Hey, a cigarette lighter. Very, kind of useful. On the other hand, I don't see what it's useful for. Yep. It's useful for the fan. So far, that's the only thing I found it useful for. Oh yeah, as for the fan, um, pull this out, um, it did, yep, so it's straight off the solar panel, straight into the fan, so, that's what I went for. So, so we'll plug this back in here, and then later we'll, we'll get to my laptop. So right now, uh, one second. Oh, I did not even put this clear through for the whole test. Sorry, gotta still gotta work on some stuff on how to get things set up. So let's see. Okay, this is as good as I'm going to put it for right now. Oh crap. <laughs> okay, didn't break my phone again. Well, this phone has been a survivor for just about everything I do at it. So, plug. Yeah, I know, I'm doing everything in my car. Well, like I said, I'm an, outdoor, I'm an outdoors guy. So, plug. That in. Wait. Why are we getting any power? I mean, solar panel. And this is still on. What the heck? Oh. Okay, now it's on. Okay, just turn the USB port off. Um, turn the LCD off. Now we get 12 volts out. So, you, like, say, I'm going to be parked. Oh, excuse me, somewhere. Um, I could have a friend right here. Hey, look at that. We got a fan. And it's only going... Whoa, that's odd. Wait, let's see. Okay, so hook the fan up. It does, I mean, it does have some oscillation on it. Kind of where, where you want it to go. <laughs> okay. So we got a good fan going on. And it's power, no, I, yes, I have to have that on. But although, because the solar panel acts like it's giving up more than 12 volts to this. 
And that's why it's like so high speed. And I don't want to ruin it, so I have to put it on here. Make sure that the voltage is regulated. So, obviously, um, apparently it is. So, actually, yeah. Um, so put that right there. So, have that going right there. I have my fan going right there. So, and so far I found, like, this is actually a good, a good fan. Um, now you don't have to have your door open, you could probably just crack the window, have the um, solar panel cord come in. Um, I did it in a different way on my, on take one, but it didn't, I didn't much like the way I had a lot of my stuff set up. I'm just going to see if I could get my phone set right there. Okay, good. Thank you for staying. Um, actually... Because I know I'm going to do a little bit more uh, work right here. So... Um, okay, so yeah, you're parked somewhere. You want to have a fan going. Keep your car cool. This is the way to go. Just get like a little fan. Um, although you can plug it into the main car battery, but that'll kill the battery probably soon, I guess. Um, just keep this going. Um, keep it going like that. Okay, good. We still have extra sun on the solar panel. Um, let's see. Then, uh, just one more second, I want to show you this, too, um, of how, basically what I'm doing is showing you how good all this is. Uh, okay. Then, you get that plugged in here. Power inverter turned on. Good. Um, one more second and to get my uh, laptop put on. Or turned on. So now I have my power inverter turned on. Uh, wait, is it turned on? Uh, yes, it is turned on. So get my power inverter turned on. Uh, going to my uh, laptop power brick. And let's see. Let's see how good this actually works today. Wolf. Okay. And as you can see, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where's my little mouse? Come on. You can quit loading and do what I want you to do. Okay, thank you. So it says, yep, it's fully charged. So, and uh, the, yeah, like, you got the fan, got the laptop, um, got my um, Goal Zero running. Like, so technically, this is turned on. And th it is powering my fan and powering my laptop. And to keep it charged, it's just a solar panel. Just that little solar panel. That's all it is. So I could be out here for an entire day. Um, just, well, I don't think, I don't know if my uh, network will fit out here. Well, I meant reach, not fit. That's kind of a dumb thing. Right in that room. So, let's see. Um, that's so odd. I had to connect it. What the heck? I mean, I was connected last night. Whatever, so I could get 
Well, that's probably going to be in my, in my next upload. You know what? Whatever. So, okay. So, basically, I'm just, I could be out here, um, you know, just hanging out. I could have one of my friends and um, probably just get, like, some window covers and have my laptop, like, sit, like, um, right up here. We could have... A movie, a TV show, um, stuff going on my laptop. Uh, maybe, um, actually this processor in here isn't good enough for some games I love to play. Um, on the other hand, it kind of does work, but it kind of doesn't. Maybe for two players. Let's see, yeah, we got one right there. And we got two right there. Yeah, a couple of USB controllers. One for my friend, one for me. Um, since I have a third one, maybe someone can sit right there in the back and hopefully just have fun. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Shit. Okay. I had my solar panel right in the driveway. <laughs> okay. And I, I, like I said, I do this kind of stuff outside. Ah, oh, crap. What the heck? I did that not. What's going on? With my. Oh, I see. Wait, no, I don't see. Come on, stupid little stand. Fit. Fit in the hole. Okay, thank you. What? Yeah, obviously not that it crap. Get the bloody little Get it in the hole. I don't know what your problem is. Thank you. Oops. Dork. Okay, so solar panel, I mean this is it. Like uh, hang on. Yeah, so what I'm going to do... Uh, one, one minute. Okay, this... Sorry, it, it's going to be a minute. I want to show you something. Hang on. Okay, one more second. Ouch. Okay. So, come on in in the car. Um. Okay, then, let me sit back up, okay, this is what I'm talking about, have the input or the solar panel wire, I could probably just reel that up a little bit more, you can see a gap, uh, then I put the wire, whoa, wait, oh, okay, my camera lens is probably dirty. So you see how I got it fit right up here? Coming down here. Again, into the solar panel. So, I mean, this is basically at, like, a nice hot day. Just want to chill somewhere, maybe out by the lake. Um, keep your fan running. Most importantly, you want to keep that at a full state of charge. Now, I'm going to tell you something from some stuff I have tested. Now, on my little laptop, I could get... Now, I took the battery... Uh, well, I unplugged the battery from, like, in my laptop. And just out of, out of curiosity, how long would this 
keep my pow my laptop powered without this being charged and without my battery battery being plugged in my laptop. Yes, I could get five and a half hours fully tested, five and a half hours on my laptop. Yes, using the power inverter because they don't have a, I'll show you probably some other time. It didn't have a, a jack or a plug. Um, that small. Like, they just, they don't have that kind of a small plug. Kind of sad. So, yes, they have to go through the power inverter. So it's like, I think this is a, let's see if it's a 12 volt battery in here. Like, lithium ions, 12 volt battery, stepping it up to 110, putting it back down to 19 and a half volts for a laptop, and powering my laptop. Now, you're stepping it up from 12 to 110, and then dropping it down, down, back down to 19 and a half. That's kind of a big loss of the whole energy. When it'll be more efficient, to just step it up to 19 and a half volts for the laptop and going directly into the laptop. It's more... So basically, when dealing with this kind of stuff, the electricity, power, batteries, um, you want things really efficient. So when you go from 12 volts to 110 in a power inverter. You're using a lot of power just to get it stepped up. But then as for the power brick on my laptop, it's stepping it back down, which is even more power loss. It's ridiculous in a very certain way. And I think that they do have... Um, From 12 volts to 19 and a half volts, an adapter. I don't know. Like literally, I do not. I'm not I thought I said one before. I don't even remember. Because laptops are becoming more. Well, they're like for travel and um, take on trips, and you need a good way to keep them charged, right? Well, yeah. So I think that they have some stuff like that. I just don't know where. I don't know. Um, but anyway, right now, so I know I could get like five and a half hours directly from goal, my Goal Zero pack to my laptop. That's my small laptop. Um, five and a half hours, but I have not tested it. Like, how long can I power my fan? How long does it take from the 20 watt solar panel to charge my Goal Zero at a full state of charge? I have not tested those yet, but when I do get enough time to actually go out and fully test it, I will make another upload. So, I mean, this is kind of it right, right now. Um... This is kind of what I do. Especially because when you decide to live in a van and all this kind of stuff, you really, really need to think about what do you actually need for power. Now, as for me, personally, for what I want, when I live in my van, yes, I'm going to go out someday and actually do it. Um, is I at least need to, need to have a good power supply that will keep my laptop running all night so I can watch my movies, my TV shows, just that kind of stuff. Now, as for my um, other laptop, my gaming laptop, my Goal Zero Power Pack will not power, will hardly not even power the whole system. Like, I could get maybe about three quarters of a charge from this power pack to my other laptop just using the laptop port 
that's kind of hard to um, to do because it doesn't supply enough. The batteries and they have the capacities and all that. So, if you are looking for a good power system, you're going to have to spend a lot of money to get something good. Like, I was just talking to my uncle today about what kind of a power supply will I need to do so I can keep my laptop powered overnight. At least a good 350 watt hour battery unit. That's a lot. However, I did make a, um, like a, let's see. However, okay. So I made a, another power, like kind of like a little um, battery pack. I, instead of using the solar panel, I could just plug it in here and see how much I could give the this uh, unit. But when I did, from a full battery pack, that's 14 volts, 14, maybe 14 and a half volts, because um, I'm using 18650s. Uh, now, the bad part about it is I had, f like, the whole battery pack charged up, which is not just for batteries. Well, okay, so, yes, I, yeah, it is for batteries, but I have three packs hooked up in parallel, so hopefully I could get, well in theory, I could get like at least three quarters of a charge on my Gold Zero. Uh, from the full battery pack. I had tested it. How much charge did I get? I got one quarter of a charge from my three packs in parallel at a full charge to my Gold Zero. One quarter of a charge. That is... A pretty disgusting um, test result. I freaking one quarter. That's that, that's disgusting. Cause you you have three packs in parallel. The reason I put three packs in parallel when I did this, cause when you add batteries in series positive to negative you're not increasing the the you're not increasing your runtime as I like to call it you're increasing your voltage to increase your runtime you need to get them in parallel which is like like I just said three packs positive 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 and the other end which is negative Hook those up together. It's simple. And that's how I could have got more running time or a better charge for my goal zero. That didn't work. It should at least got me up to three quarters. Because that's a... Because these batteries I'm using are laptop batteries. Laptops have a good battery system. But... Like what? Are the batteries all of a sudden not dealing with their capacity like they should be? Because when I had taken those batteries apart, like literally, what I found in those batteries, now I tested this, that the positive ends, because they were in series too, positive ends had more charge than the negative ends. Which is very... I never even heard of that. I don't know if I, I don't know if that's unusual or what. But I don't know if... Because I took like four different battery packs apart from my laptop. From laptop. Excuse me. Each battery, again, negative end had like maybe one or two volts in it or less 
then the positive end, the negative end drain the entire thing, like it drained the batteries. It's crazy, and how did they do that? But anyway, again, those laptops I'm using have come out of, or batteries, sorry, the batteries I'm using have come out of laptop batteries. So, are, are the, uh, are the, um, charging circuits failing on us right now? Um, too old? Too much of a use? I don't know. But 18650 batteries is what I work with. Usually they're pretty good. But when you get into some pretty unusual activity, something's not right at all. I don't know what's going on. Because in here has the 18650 batteries in it. And they hold up pretty, like I said, they hold up good. And I could get five and a half hours from this to my laptop without the laptop battery being plugged into the system. Five and a half hours. But thing of it is, is why couldn't I get uh, at least an okay result from the other batteries. I don't know. So, I'm going to probably go in for more testing and see if, it, if the battery cells themselves are too dead and they won't work. Or, what's going on? Because this is unusual. At a full charge for all three packs. Didn't hardly even do anything. That's pretty disgusting. It's like you're living in a place that charges $50 a day. You get treated like crap. And you don't hardly even get taken care of. That's how bad that the one result or the one test I did ended up. It just didn't. I thought someone was here. Maybe someone was here. I don't know. But the thing of it is, it didn't work. And that's pretty disgusting when you have four batteries in, in series, but you have three packs in parallel. That's awful. It really is. So, and like right now, when I'm doing with my solar panel, I'm keeping my goal zero charge. But this hasn't been enough unit to power my laptop all night. That's what sucks. It truly does. And like right now, oops. What do I do with it? Ah, crap. But anyway, right now, here it is. Uh -huh. So, right now, um, get my switch. Is what, how much power is coming in from the solar panel without a load? That's when I got this. So, one second. So, I'm getting roughly about... At least 18... To... At least 18 and a half volts from the sun, from the solar panel. Now, right now, I could directly, just to prove to you, no, I just have this uh, hooked up right like that to uh, another thing I built for the project. 
No, I could charge my stuff right off of this without any batteries. But, like right now. Oh, one sec. I am going to try to clean my camera off. See, see if that works. Okay, well, it. Oh, wow. So I just draw, so it just dropped a little bit from the battery. And then to, to prove that this is actually working. Okay, so we're going to turn the... Okay, so just shut the uh, power inverter off. Ow. Well, it's still not charging right now. So shut that off. Uh, okay, now the system should be off. So then, now with that top, like with any one of these bars uh, blinking like that, that's how I know it's actually charging. But yeah, and I also have a little light on here. Hello? Turn off. Thank you. So, uh, like right now, I uh, just maybe I had too much of a load, or the shade is actually getting on the solar panel. So, it's still pretty warm in here. Okay, turn that off. Okay, so. Using the. Oh, okay. So you're just using the um, the 12 volt. Does? I can swear I hear I have cars going places. Okay, so just turn the fan off. Let me turn the power inverter back on. Come on, I had better results, or like on the first time. Actually, hang on, because I'm going to just turn both of these on. And I bet you something is in the way of the solar panel, so we're going to go look. Oh yeah, it is a little more shady, that's why. So we'll put it right here. Uh, kind of a bad place. A lot of trees. Okay. So, oh yeah, solar panels do need to have 100% direct sunlight. There's pollen on here. Uh, kind of wipe that off. Uh, I don't know if you could tell. Make a lot of pollen on my hand. Uh, yeah, and you do want to keep this really clean, too. So, uh, still not, still not charging. Huh, must not be 100% direct sunlight, so, put it, put it right here. No, that's, is that, if you go back here, doesn't look like it's 100% sunlight. Oh well. I mean, it really just, ugh. Okay, now that's bright. Eh, sun is like right on the solar panel. Okay. So, I'm gonna put my seat cover back down. Okay, so. Let's see, this is from the shade. Uh, turn my, um, turn the fan off. Okay, now we'll just turn the power inverter off. Okay. Is this even plugged in right now? Oh, why is my plug loose? Why is my plug is loose?
I take my thing there. Okay, I'm going to put this one there. Now, okay, so we'll go back. Uh, I guess it's not really working right. Yeah. But remember, uh, solar panels do have to be in direct sunlight. So without... Actually, actually I want to try this. So this is all it is. Let me... This is actually all of it is right now. I'm just charging it and so let me make sure everything is off. Okay, so it's charging. And then just turn the power inverter on. And it's still charging. That's a that's good. Yeah, yeah. And we'll plug my laptop back into it. See if, um, what happens. Okay, so right now, uh, the entire Goal Zero Sherpa 50 is shut off. I just have the power inverter turned on. And then, let's see if we have any status coming to the laptop. Okay. Which I know. Yep. That's that's interesting. So we could actually just use um uh, my next project, if I really do feel like it, is see if I could get the, um, so... Oh, what the heck? What happened? Why isn't it not charging right now? Confusing. So right now it's not even charging. And... Let's see... You know what? One, one minute. Okay, get the window rolled down. Hello. Eh, that's all I wanted. Come on. Get over it. Get Okay, so I did move the solar panel more into the light. Yes, it took the the plug out of the window. Yeah, now we're getting we're getting power back in. Excuse me, I did not tell you it could be right there. Stupid little monster. Okay, so now we're getting power back in the battery. Again, at the same time, I, my laptop is charging. And to prove it, solar, or power inverter is turned on. So, we're well, also going to try this. So now that the USB port is on on here, the system is running. And then, okay, so, huh. That's odd. So apparently it still uses a lot of power just for that light to come on, as you can see. Now if I shut this off, it starts charging again. Then turn the laptop plug on. Oh, well, it doesn't really affect it, but turn... 
Huh. That's odd. So, do one more little. Is my plug loose? No. Okay. So yeah, best of luck is I could have this charging and just my laptop running. Probably because, so the reason for that is why I can't have the fan and the laptop charging or laptop turned on right now. Technically, hey. It's not direct sunlight right now. It's like the, the, the trees are blocking a lot of the sun. So obviously it's not going to work as well as it probably would without the trees being in the way. So, I mean, this is a nice little setup I have going on. But with a lot of stuff right now, um, I don't know. Ooh. Oh, yeah, my neck. <laughs> oh, gee. oh, no, that does feel better right now. So I could just be sitting outside of a place that offers free Wi-Fi. And that could be in my car. Place could, uh, like, some place could offer free Wi-Fi. And I could have my laptop going and my... Um, and it's being charged, and I'm sitting right here in my car, and um, don't even bother to be around people. Just be in my own private little place, man. And just get some covers up for the windows. Uh, no one's gonna. <laughs> no one's gonna know what you're looking up online. I don't even. No, why I bothered to say that. I'm so bad at what I do for this kind of stuff. So bad. So, yeah. Put your covers up. Have your solar panel up here. Although. Uh, yeah, if a big gust of wind comes, it's going to blow your solar panel all, all over the place. Uh, what I think I could do is... Ah! Fart. I know what I could do for the solar panel, but I ain't got them anymore! Mount some good magnets on the um, frame of the solar panel and have that and just have the magnets sticking to the roof of your car because it should work. Why not? But like before you go anywhere, you want to get the solar panel off your roof so it's not like, well, Technically, it's not permanently mounted. Um, but yeah, just um, put your solar panel up here on the roof and basically just power my laptop uh, kind of wherever I am. Uh, kind of go from there. I don't know. So, as you can see, we just lost even more sunlight because it is not charging right now. Turn that power inverter off. And now it's charging. I don't know. Probably head out somewhere. 
with all this and just uh, I, I know where a good park is just sit out in the parking lot again have your some uh, magnets put on your solar panel um, have it on the roof of your car or the hood of your car whatever you want to do or um, mm, yeah. get um some grid mounts and permanently mount it on your car, just kind of, I don't know, go for it. That's what you got to do. So, but right now, since, um, a lot of stuff is going on and I'm really tight with my money right now, this is the best I could do. Can't go any further. I could back up on my stuff and just... I don't know who's going to want something like, like the Gold Zero 50 that um, I already put a hole in. Uh, I could just take whatever out and just... Um, I could probably just cover up the hole and be like, here, I just use it for a couple tests. It works. And maybe someone's going to buy it from me. Maybe I don't know how much. And then I could probably just save that money, get a better unit, get my laptop powered all night if I'm out somewhere. Um, get my phone charged, that kind of stuff. So, I don't know. But this is just a small scale of what I'm going to try to build. Hopefully within the next couple months or so. Um, I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to say. Um, find play. Ooh, that oh, looks like a big cloud right up there. I don't know. Well, anyway, I'm sorry I took so long on this. Well, when I get talking to, about all this kind of stuff, I want to cover all the basic stuff. That's I stick with the basics of everything. So yeah, just um, sit up here, uh, play on my laptop, or maybe even now. I don't know. Just watch movies, TV shows on my laptop, keep it charged, have my uh, fan going, too hot of a day out there. Uh, can't really stand the heat, but I could stand the cold. That's why part of my name is Mystic Arctic, because I could stand the cold, not the heat. I do not like the heat at all. So that's kind of part of my name, Arctic. I don't like the cold. No, I like the cold. I cannot stand the heat. So anyway, until next time, uh, keep working with my kind of stuff. Um, see if I have anything else to do. Um, I don't know. Well, until next time, have a good day, have a good night, whatever it is, whatever time it is uh, when you're watching. Uh, you can follow me on Twitch. Um, every upload I do, no matter what it is, my link to my Twitch is always going to be uh, in every upload I do. So please follow me on Twitch if you feel like it. Or at least just drop in on the chat if you have any um, questions about certain things. And, um, well, if you're watching me on my Twitch, on my live chat, ask me a question and you get the answer right there. Directly from the wolf. So until then, have a good time.